When we open a new terminal, we are required to run source build env setup.sh so it can load different commands into memory. We first ran the launch command to see all the Android products that are possible to be built. Running the launch commands gives us the ability to select a product to build. We would like to know how the build system was able to get all the products that are possible to be built. So let's open the env setup script and search for the launch function. First, we can see that if we don't provide any other variable to the launch command, the print lunch menu function will run. Let's navigate to that function. We can see that a choices local variable is created and used to print out the lunch menu choices. Choices is set by executing a shell script that clears the target build apps variable and calls the get build var function with the common lunch choices string. The get build var function is located in the same shell script. Its description is that it gets the exact value of a build variable. A build variable can be set by an Android make file or an Android blueprint file. It does that by running a sung script that parses all the Android products in the device folder and returns whatever build variable that was provided to this function. In our case, the build variable was common lunch choices. Let's navigate to the device folder and run grep recursively to find all the common lunch choices in there. We can see that the build variable is being set once in each product folder in the Android products make file. This includes the Pixel 5 codename, Redfin and our Cuttlefish device. Because we already built Cuttlefish, let's open its Android products make file and scroll to the common lunch choices. This confirms that the choices list when we ran lunch was partially made out of this make file. And as you recall, we have selected the x86 phone user debug build variant to build our cuttlefish device.